What is going on, people of YouTube? My name is Kurt Yo. Welcome back to another episode of looking at transfer targets in the summer of 2015 for the big six Premier League clubs. Today is the turn of Liverpool. And my goodness, I've prepared lists for all the clubs of players they could bring in, players that I think will be available and players that could come out. And um, Liverpool's list is by far the longest with, I believe, nine, ooh, yeah, nine outgoings and eight ingoings. So this is going to be fun, let's just say that. We'll start off with the outgoings. We'll go from goalkeeper up as we've got so many outgoings compared to usual. Um... Brad Jones is the first one. His contract runs out um, at the end of the season. I don't think he'll return. So he'll be um, leaving, I believe. We'll put him into the under-18s. Uh, actually, this episode, I will actually look at the under-18s to see what players we have got rid of. Second of all, leaving is Javi Manquillo. I'm not sure if there's any sort of clause in there for him to um, be bought. A uh, future fee of $5 million. They might look to do that. He is young. But, you know, he will leave, um, you know, if he isn't bought. I'm not sure whether they'll, bear, um, whether they'll buy him or whether um, Atletico want him back or, or if there's a clause in there. They, they can't if they if the clause is met. But I think he'll leave or stick him in the under-18s. Another one in the right-back position whilst we're here is Glenn Johnson. He will also be leaving. We'll stick him in the under-18s. We're still on the defence, by the way. Number four to go is Colo Torre. His contract again runs out like everyone else that I've put into the under-18s so far. All their contracts run out. Steven Gerrard, you know, Liverpool through and through, apparently. And um, he'll be leaving on a free. He's going to America, I believe, Red Bull. Um, Red New York, Red Bull, something like that. I don't know the names of that league. Next one, as much as Liverpool fans don't want to hear it, I believe Raheem Sterling will be leaving. Um, the first player to leave on this list for a transfer, as I believe um, personally. You know, uh, there's, there's, uh, if he said he don't want to play for Liverpool, he's not going to be at his best. So I believe that will be the time for him to leave the club and for them to look elsewhere. Now, this is the part where I think some people have uh, you know, a bit of a... Hold on a minute, what's going on? Uh, on my outgoings list, I have three strikers. Daniel Sturridge is not one of them. So there's Lambert, there's Barini, and there's Balotelli. All, I believe. I wouldn't be surprised if they all left. If I was manager, I would rid myself of all of them. Balotelli, you know, he's been awful this season. Absolutely awful. And I don't think he deserves to stay on. And um, with Barini and Lambert, you know, get a fee in for them. And I, think, I, think, I don't think, I think Lambert will be looking to first team football. He's going to be able to play for his boyhood club. And Fabio Barini will leave, but there's not much future for him either. So, now I've got all the outgoings done, you can see my under-18s is looking very big now, so you think, hold on a minute, you've got a few decent young players there. Um, but as far as our, um, you know, ingoings is concerned, we're going to start from goalkeeper up. Our goalkeeper, oops, I spelled it wrong, is Azmir Begovic. Now, a keeper that has every season, every window, this club wants in, this club wants in, he's moving to this club, done deal, not done deal. This time I believe it will be a done deal. He'll be moving to Liverpool because I think Mignolet, there's a lot of criticism of him. You know, he's a very good keeper, very talented, but I think if Begovic is here, suddenly, I believe you've got a few years ago, you've got two of the hottest Premier League keepers and they're in the same club, and I believe the competition there will make sure that you know, if Begovic has a good run, the minute Begovic steps his, lot, put his, his foot off the gas, Simon one will be ready to put his foot onto it. So I believe Begovic is a great signing for Liverpool. Um, Czech could be in there again. I do, see, I do seem to be putting Czech into almost every team but um, that needs a goalkeeper, but you know, Begovic, I believe, is the next best option. I believe Czech, uh, he might go to Liverpool. You know, I'm, I'm predicting Arsenal or Manchester United, maybe, if they decide that Valdez isn't the first-team goalkeeper for them, which would be very strange, um, in my opinion. But, um, first of all, I just want to quickly go on to our reserves. Iago, Iago Aspas probably um, will be leaving. I think Quartes and Ilori and everyone like that leave. Might not be much future. But as far as right-backs concerned, you've got Wisdom and you've also got John Flanagan. John Flanagan's contract is running out. I'm not sure whether he will be staying on or anything, um, whether his contract has been sorted out. I haven't I've been kept up to date with I haven't really seen anything on it. Um, but if he's not, then we've got Wisdom here as well. And another one we're bringing up from my under-18s, or my under-21s, sorry, is Jordan Ibe. 
he's in the first team already. He's just in there because this game is pictured like um, from the middle of the season, so he obviously will still be uh, downgraded, I'd say, as far as stats in real life, and um, you know he will not be as good. So moving on now to our next player, we're still in the defence, and it's another player that I rec you'll recognise from quite a few like links. He's linked to absolutely everyone, like I said in my Manchester United one. It is good old Virgil van Dijk, or Digic, if you want to pronounce names like a weirdo. Basically, because he's had a fantastic season with Ch um, with Chelsea, with Celtic, and you know he's probably deserving of the big move abroad, in, or I say abroad into England, into a big Premier League club. You know he's played fantastic football, and with Liverpool, you know maybe playing three at the back. You know keep Emre Can, you get rid of Carlo Torre, bring in a nice young defender, and Virgil van Dijk can learn off the other defenders around him. I think that's going to be a good signing. One question, um, question mark we'll put on is the future of Martin Skirtle. We've been talking about, I've seen rumours of him leaving recently. Um, not sure about that. I hope he stays because I think he's a great defender for them. So we're going to move on now to the midfield. And we're going to continue with a theme. Um, actually, I've just skipped a defender. I've just forgot. Um, we've skipped a defender and that's Nathaniel Klein. Um, currently plays Southampton. Um, Liverhampton will continue. I believe he'll probably be leaving. We've had 20, 25 million for Nathaniel Klein, um, which will be a good signing. I believe he's a great player and possibly England's number one fullback in a few years, if not um, currently. But now it's the midfield, and actually it's worked out quite well because we are staying with Southampton, and I need to put more in. Morgan Schneider then is going to be the one joining the club. I believe he, he, again he's going to probably going to be leaving Southampton with players or with teams looking to spend big money on players, and he will also be coming in. Another one that's been in the same one as Manchester United coming in is um, Pedro, because you know you've only got um, Ebe or Ibe and Markovic, you're missing a winger. So I believe um, Pedro again is the option they will look for. They're also planning Draxler could also be leaving. There's lots of. Um, reports of him leaving but for now I'm actually going to not forget that we can't type Pedro in there and expect it to come up oh I'm all over the place Pedro again you know looking to move not a first team player at Barcelona anymore so it's going to be a, it'll be an easy choice for them to um, get him in and I don't think it'll take much persuading apart from the, the mention of a few words first team football so we're going to be moving on to another winger that oops we're going to be moving on to another winger that is currently at the club, just on loan um, for the season. And that is, if I can find him, um, Divock Origi. There's a striker on this, can play in winger. I believe he's a he's, he's had a decent season. Um, I like playing with him on FIFA, I just have to say. But he's had a decent season over there. I, I was surprised that he didn't um, come over to Liverpool. But I now he's done enough to earn his way into the first team for me. And if I was manager, he would definitely be straight into the first team. He could play wing, he could play up top. You know, gives you good options. You got then you got Markovic, Pedro, Ebe, and also Origi. Um, so you got four really good wingers there. But we're going to move on to the last two players, the two strikers. First of all, yep, yeah, it's completely the hat trick of players that I have got in um, the same team, and that is Jackson Martinez. I need to put more in than that. Jackson Martinez, linked to everyone, probably would, uh, whatever club he goes to, probably say they've got a really good deal. Admittedly, I think he's a quality player. He's got strength, he's fast, he can shoot, he can head the ball. He's got everything, really. You know, it might take a bit of time in the Premier League to get used to it, but I believe he will still be a good signing. And last of all, for us, is going to be a one from the um, French League, and it's Alexandre Lacazette. Um, quite simply because I feel like he has earned his way into like uh, some of the or in the in the book of some of the best strikers known to mankind at the moment. And you know, imagine Liverpool's uh, strike force is possible because they're not really that expensive striker-wise. If they spend the right money and they get these players in, this could be a force to be reckoned with. Now I've said that a lot of times with Liverpool. Um, I believe this time, you know. It could be. You've got players there all around the pitch. You've got leaders. You've got big, strong midfielders. You've got big, strong defenders. You've got everything. You've got young English talent. You've got you know the experience as well. Um, but this team is definitely a force we reckoned with. We'll just go over that. Just check. Actually, I'm just going to check if I haven't missed. No, I haven't missed anyone. 
we're just going to go and check onto our tactics. But first of all, you know, the players that we're letting go, you know, Balotelli, Sterling, Gerrard, of course, has to, um, Barini, Johnson, Lambert, Maniquillo, Torre, and Brad Jones, you know, all of which I think warrant a place off the team because, you know, either they haven't performed well or they will probably end up be leaving anyway. But onto the tactics, um, just to get this down, you know, it'd be a straight battle. I believe Begovic is much better than Mignolet, um, and, and, you know, Stoke will want to hang on to him, but I don't think there'll be much keeping him. Now, change the formation quickly. Then move these two up, sit them back, and then you've got a choice, really. I believe I, believe I might have done this wrong. We're going to do, I believe it might be something like that they might do, um, but, you know, I'm not sure. It could be anything. Let me just see if that changes anything. If I go down here, yeah, but anyway, something like that. Doesn't matter where they're sitting on the pitch. But um, fullbacks, you know, Skirtle one side. You can have Sacco the other, and you've got a choice between um, you know Chan, Lovren, or Van Dyke. I'm gonna go with Van Dyke if he um, ends up signing because he would have earned it. He would have played very well, you know, and you would have done you know you done pretty well um, with a. Defense, or those three in defense will be the three solid. Sacco needs a bit more maturing, a bit like Mangala, but anyway, he will get there in the end. Right wing back, you've got Klein to go with. You've got anyone to go with on the right back. Left back side, uh, personally, there's a lot of wingers there. I know he likes to sit his wingers back a bit, um, but you know, you've got Flanagan, you can have um, there's loads of different players, maybe not in train the position on the game, but can play there. I believe um, it'll be a close call between a lot of players. But Klein will end up starting in this position. That is an awkward way of doing it. But Klein will be here. And then you can either have Moreno or anyone there. I'm going to stick with Moreno for now. Um, only because you'll see why in a minute. Two midfielders. You can have Henson one side, Schneider on the other. That looks like a good pairing to me. Attacking midfield, of course. Player of the season for them. And it's somehow in team of the season for the Premier League. Philippe Coutinho. And the two strikers, I believe at the start of the season, um, Sturridge won't be fit. I, I, I believe that's right. I'm not sure. So if he's not fit, then these two will be playing. And the reason why I say, um, you know, it, I'll leave it for now um, as the two fullbacks in wing backs is because that's five at the back. And bearing in mind, if you put these on the bench and let's say this is the bench you can play, if, I, if you'd like to scroll down, thank you, um, you could probably have. Um, Lazar Markovic, um, Lucas Liva. If we go down here, it'll probably be easier. Um, you can have a, um, that's a poor place to put Origi. Origi on the bench. You can have Pedro on the bench and maybe um, Joe Allen or Lalana. I am going to go with um, Lalana over them. You know, you've got a very attacking defence, uh, um, or a very attacking um, bench, sorry. Um, the wingers have probably been neglected a bit. Admittedly, but you got three of them on the bench. You got a good strong defence. You know, you may see maybe Moreno come out for Origi or Pedro come in for Klein or Markovic. You can actually play there, come in for Klein. But that's a team I'm going to go with. What Liverpool could be starting with. Thank you guys for watching as well. Remember, we only got Spurs to go after this. Put in the comments what teams you want to see. Like if you want to see more, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.